Hello kids and welcome to the Park Kids Online. For those that don't know me yet, my name is Pastor Kayla and I am the new children's pastor here at the Park Church. If we haven't met yet, I look forward to meeting you and getting to know each and every single one of you. Uh, wherever you're watching from, I hope and pray that this online lesson, uh, you can use it to find Jesus and grow in relationship with him. And I also want to encourage you to have discussion throughout the video and answer the questions at the end as a family. Asking and answering questions are a huge part of discipleship. You will find the most value when you engage together. Make sure you also take a look at the video's description um, because you can find resources there sometimes and the weekly coloring sheet. So God bless you and your family as you grow and learn together. Let's go and get 
gets tough And I wanna give up I will trust in you Cause you're always gonna lead Always gonna lead Always gonna lead me through When I'm feeling overwhelmed And almost wanna quit I will not give in Cause you're giving me strength Giving me strength The strength to start again You're here! This is great! Welcome to Grow TV! Welcome to Grow TV! Hosted by Carl! Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hey, hi, howdy. So glad you're here. I'm still at the zoo and I am still having the time of my life. Just 10 minutes ago, I saw a chimpanzee do a backflip off of a tire. A tire. A tire that was hanging from a, a rope. An old tire swing. Did a backflip. Then five minutes before that, I saw a giraffe eat a dude's hat. It was awesome. You know, there's just something about going to the zoo that gets me ah, pumped. Woo. I don't know if it's the elephant mud or the smell of stale pretzels. Something about it. Ah, it just reminds me of my childhood. I don't ever want to leave. Dear fellow zoogoers, the zoo is closing in five minutes. Please gather your personal items and find the nearest exit. Thank you for visiting the zoo. What? Are you kidding me? No, I'm a robot and I'm not allowed to. Kid. Oh, thanks. I didn't think you could uh, hear me. Ha ha ha. I hear everything. All right, that is scary. Anywho, kids, why didn't you tell me the zoo's gonna close? Oh man, this stinks. So if I have to leave the zoo now, that means I have to go... Where? I don't know. Man, I don't want to leave. The world's falling apart. <laughs> I think you're being a little dramatic. Hi! Carl! Oh no, what's going on? I mean, the, it's just that the zoo's closing now and I don't know what's gonna happen. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean, I have to leave the one place I love more than anything... To where? Home? Waffle House? Home Depot? I don't know what's ahead of me and I'm scared. 
All right, well, that's fine. No one knows what's ahead of him. What do you mean? Well, look how afraid Daniel was when he had his dream. What are you talking about? Daniel and, and his dream. Look at Daniel, uh, Old Testament, chapter 7. Okay, well, one night Daniel had a dream, and it was strange. So the dream started out with Daniel looking out at the sea. And there was a strong wind, and it started shaking the tree. Then something came out of the water. Really? What? Four big beasts. All of them came up out of the water, and each of them had a special power. Describe them, please! All right, so the first beast looked like a lion, but it had wings like eagles. Terrifying. Continue. The second beast was a bear holding three rib bones in its mouth. Also terrifying. The third beast was a jaguar with four wings like a bird. Oh, that's not too weird. But it also had four heads. And there it is. And then the last beast was a very scary and strong one. It had iron teeth and ten horns. Cool, that sounds... Cool. After that, Daniel saw God's throne, and the last beast was killed. The rest of the beast had their powers all taken away. All right, I'm following you. Then Daniel suddenly sees what they call the Son of Man. Oh, I think I know him. He was shown that the Son of Man would be in control of every nation for all time. Seriously? Is that true? It sure is. But Daniel woke up and he was a bit scared. What? Why? That's a fun and intense dream. Yeah, but Daniel knew that it meant something. Really? Dreams can mean something? Sometimes, but that wasn't uncommon in the Old Testament times. Daniel knew that the beasts represented kings of the world. And no matter how mighty and powerful that those kings would ever be, no one is as powerful as God. Daniel didn't know it then, but we know now that the Son of Man in this dream was probably talking about Jesus and how he is truly the king. A king more powerful than any king in the past, present, or future. Well, you're right about that. Man, I can't imagine being Daniel. That is a super heavy dream. Think about it. Jesus hadn't come to the earth yet. And Daniel's seeing bits and pieces of the future, and I don't know, that could be a bit scary. No, you're totally right, Carl. Not knowing what the future holds can be scary. I find myself worrying all the time about what's going to happen tomorrow. What am I going to do when I get older? How am I going to keep a job? Why do I have to have a job? <sighs> you know what I mean, Carl? Totally. I worry about a ton of things, and I don't know how to stop it. Well, just know this. You can only control what you can control. Huh? Think about it. You can't control what tomorrow will ever look like or what can happen. So instead of worrying, we need to learn to trust God more and more. Oh, I like that. What if I mess up and do worry, though? That's okay. God will always be there for us. We just need to keep trying and trusting. Hey there, kiddos. How was the story? Did Carl stop crying? I hope so. So today's big idea is... I don't know the future, but I know God is with me. Oh, that is so good. So let's roar it out loud on the count of three. Ready? Three, two, one. I don't know the future, but I know God is with me. Good job, kids. That was rhinorific. That was a rhino joke. Like rhino and terrific put into one word. Get it? No? Okay. Anywho, thank you so much for watching Grow TV. I hope to see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grow.